Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So many times up to now we have been dealing uh, with uh, ESP microcontrollers and Wi-Fi connection. And the side of projects of uh, web servers on ESP32 and uh, ESP8266 microcontrollers and Wi-Fi access points, uh, we never actually dealt with communication where our microcontroller acts as server. And what exactly is what I'm aiming at? I mean about simple TCP connection where our uh, microcontroller acts as server. And this feature could actually be used in variety of different ways. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to implement that. So what we need, aside of our Arduino library, we need to include ESP MDNS because I don't want to deal with IP addresses. Then include Wi-Fi then we are going to need Wi-Fi server, we are going to need to include Wi-Fi client and that's all. Now I need to define two variables SSID with empty string and pass for password also empty string in here you're going to put uh, credentials for your uh, Wi-Fi and for this example you could also use a uh, soft access point but I'm going to connect to my already existing Wi-Fi and these credentials I'm going to type later on and in our void setup first we are going to initialize our serial monitor serial begin with baud rate of 9600 then I am going to wait for serial while not serial we don't need this dot I'm going to delay of half a second then we are going to set our Wi-Fi mode to Wi-Fi underscore STA then Wi-Fi begin. I'm going to provide SSID and password. Now we are going to check for status of our Wi-Fi. If no, actually, while you could use if too, but I'm going to go with while Wi-Fi dot status it's not WL connected we are going to print asterisk and I'm going to delay of half of second to immediately after we establish connection I'm going to print new line and I'm going to go with print F. I'm going to say Wi Fi connected with IP percent S and new line, and I'm going to provide Wi-Fi local IP. All right. And in order to act as server, we need to create one server object. I'm going to put it in here. Wi-Fi server, call it server on port 80. We are going to use my Firefox web browser in order to test this project. And in here, I'm going to use server begin and I'm going to say msdn not msdn <laughs> sorry mdns and I'm actually quite often making this mistake begin and I'm going to call my server server like this simple and in our void loop I'm going to create Wi-Fi client call it client and I'm going to get my client from server 
available. So whenever some client connects to our microcontroller out of uh, server object, we are going to create client object. Okay, and we are going to print something to that client. Client print ln something simple like hi there new line nice to meet you uh, don't need this new line and I'm going to flush this and that's all now I'm going to enter my uh, credentials and of course you don't have to see this part all right, now we are ready to build this code and to upload it. Okay, I'm going to open my serial monitor now. I'm going to restart my microcontroller. Aha, uh, in here I'm not getting a proper IP because a function printf actually uh, demands a char array for S key. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to solve that really, really quickly. Okay. I'm going to change from printf to print and in here serial print ln and now y phi local IP. Of course we can convert value from uh, local uh, IP but this is a faster way to solve this problem. Let's do it again. All right now I'm going to open my serial monitor once again. All right, now we are getting uh, proper IP. So it's uh, IP of uh, 25 at the end. Okay, I'm going to open uh, my Firefox uh, web browser and I'm going to use my uh, MDNS. So server local. All right works just fine so guys that's all for this episode i hope that you learned something new something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya